Okay. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is Kylie of 13, and this is my very first Let's Play. Alright, yeah, that sounds good. Um, it's gonna be a work in progress. Not really sure how, how this is all gonna work, and how this is all gonna sound and whatnot, but I'm excited. Yes, this is the Lord of the Rings, Lord of the North. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Uh, started playing already. But, um, I'm gonna do a new game. I've not gotten that far, so I'm gonna go heroic, and I'm gonna play as fine. Champion of Miracle Lock. Sounds good, sounds good. Alright, I played a little bit of this game, I know how it works, and so I've not gotten that far. And I thought, I should do a Let's Play, and with a game that I, I don't fully know. So, you're about to lose this game, are you sure? I'm positive. Let's do this! Let's break into it. For a more cinematic experience for your conversations, select the default response each time you see the most significant Of the Great War of the Ring, many songs have been sung and many tales told. That's the nice. names of heroes like Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn the King, and Frodo the Ringbearer are greatly revered. And rightly so. Well, they did some important stuff. Yet Sauron's grasp stretched much further than the lands of Gondor and Rohan the Lone. Oh well, yeah, it was all Middle-earth. His Middle might have done great evil in the north of Middle-earth. Had a handful of heroes... Hey, hey that's me! In his path. What up? Their stories, too, deserve to be told. The Prince and Pony. Pay heed now to one such tale, which begins here in the town of Bree. Just a few short days before Frodo arrived on his quest. What up, Strider? Aragorn. Enadar. Well met. And in company with Andriel of Rivendell and Farin of Erebor. An unlikely trio to find walking through the doors of the Prancing Pony. Sure. With Sarn Ford last I knew. Do you bear news from Harbalad? Yes. Grim news. I feared it would be so. Quickly, tell me what has happened, but keep your voices low. There are unfriendly ears, even here in Bree. Three days passed. The guard at Son Ford was attacked by nine black riders. The Ring Race. Stand fast, Rangers! Yeah, you're not gonna do much against them, guys. Hate to break it to you. We were overwhelmed, and the enemy passed into the Shire. This is worse than I imagined. I know these riders. It is from Mordor they come. Oh! Our folk could not hope to stand against the Nine together. How bad were our losses? Very bad. We tried to resist them, but they were surrounded by an aura of unnatural dread. This game actually looks There's pretty nice. It's actually got to the quite, right, one of the black it's actually quite, with an quite smoother than I thought of great it would be. Power. So, and I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, he just picked out his neck. Ugh, I like it more. Yeah. Dude, your face. You're rough. Agnaw. As our master commanded, I have stirred up the orcs of the mountains. Even Dude, now, I am the force gathering amid the looking. ruins of I'm Old Fornost. Return at once, and prepare your forces. We will have need of them soon. My orcs will be ready. These lands have known peace for too long. They will soon feel the Dark Lord's wrath. All powerful, all mighty, apparently, but you guys can't notice three people just chilling. This Agandau has a force at Fornost, then our position grows all the more desperate. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much there is a hobbit of the Shire who should be coming this way with a great burden. If it falls into the hands of the enemy, it will mean doom for us all. Now, this hobbit is adrift on the road with enemies all around. 
I must find him before they do. And I need you to help me keep him safe. You are my chieftain. I will gladly do whatever you command. I... I'm a part of this now as well. Then we three are of one mind. How can we aid you? We must reduce the threat from the enemies gathered at Fornost. Travel there and do whatever you can to keep the enemy's eye turned towards you and away from the Shire. Perhaps we will have help. All right, task. team stretch. Eladan and Elro here were in the north when last I heard. Any gathering of the enemy is certain to attract their attention. Good. You can find no better allies than the sons of Elrond half elven I hope we meet. But with or without help, the enemy will be kept busy. We'll make sure of that. Sweet! Okay. Alright, so... I'm in Bree. Moving around. Woo! Alright! I'm busy. Alright, now there's a couple of side quests that I gotta do. And that'll be fun. But, uh, yeah. This looks all pretty sweet. And, uh, you know, you have a regular boss settings or whatever. Then you have all this stuff happening right here, which is your gear. Get your inventory, skills that you level up, quests, which are pretty awesome, and then your stats, which you can get when you level up. Pretty straightforward. I've got 252 uh, silver, I'm guessing that is. Um, they call me silver. So let's talk to this guy. What's up? Welcome to Bree. You're a stranger around here. No, oh, naturally. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? Depends. Who's asking? My name's Otto Aster, and Bree is my home. I'm worried about the future of the town. That's what I wish to speak to you about. Don't waste my time. I'm listening. What's on your mind? We hear a lot of talk from travelers these days. Most of them speak of war and of a growing shadow in the east. The yeah. townsfolk just dismiss this. Say it's far away and doesn't concern us. But I'm not so sure. You've traveled. Maybe seen a few things. What's your opinion? Should we be worried? Others go ahead handle this. Because, I mean, let's leave it to us. There's plenty to worry about. But there are still a few strong arms and stout hearts standing between you and danger. I know we have our defenders, but I fear they are too few. It's time this town well, took some hand like in its own thousands. defense. Everything's too few. You're right. You have the right of it. Anybody else here feel that way? Very few. Most seem to feel that bad things could never happen here. I'm afraid I'll have to act alone for now. What's your plan? What do you intend to do? I'd like to arrange for arming the town. We'll need more than pitchforks if we're forced to defend ourselves. Hell yeah, take on Sauron with pitchforks. The merchant to bring us weapons, but he refused. Maybe I should talk to him. Dwarf to dwarf. Dwarf to dwarf. 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 His name is Groff. He's selling his wares from a market stall down the street. You might still find him there. I'll let you know what he has to say. All right. So picked up that quest. Awesome. Can't talk to these people. Uh, I would talk to him, but he just tells you where things are around in town. And uh, whoa, what? What was? Cust what is this? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. That's good. Alright, so yeah, that's awesome. I didn't know I could do this. Ah, oh, so this is new. This is awesome. I didn't know you could do that. 
hell out of here. That's so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Got my head in the clouds, I guess. Something wrong, what man? What you've got is this look of someone with a lot on their mind. Troubles. Oh no, it, it's no trouble. Not really. It's more like, well, I'm in love. Oh, what's wrong with oh, that? That sounds like trouble to me. Who is the lucky woman? It's I don't know. That's what I'll say. My childhood sweetheart. I always thought we were meant for each other, but her father doesn't like my prospects. He's arranging a match with the blacksmith, Elman Brushwood. A man with a trade, that's a good match. But how about the lass? Does she love you? That's just it. I'm not sure. I always told her how much I loved her when we were children. It was all a game back then. Then we got older and... We she got come out and say me. There you go. Yeah, you well, need to tell her. Do. You'd best tell her now, or you wish you had later. Sure. I want to tell her. I do. Look, this locket belonged to my mother. Yeah. I want to give it to I don't. I can take it, John. Well then, give it to me. I'll take it to him. Yes, that might work. Leave it to me then. Wonderful. <laughs> Just You're perfect. asking so take much. Take the locket to Elman. All right, all right. I'll tell. And just one more thing. After you talk to her, could you come back and tell me what she said? Uh, this is getting complicated. One way or another, I have to know. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'll bring you word once I've spoken with the last. Okay. And so I'm gonna pause it here and start a new episode. That's how it's gonna work. Uh, gonna try to keep these between like 11 and 12 minutes and hope for the best. So here we go. Picked up two side quests and we're gonna continue from there. And.